Welcome to this episode of Island by Film. My name is Wes. Today we're going to be talking about five reasons why Digicams can potentially boost your creative process in 2024. Okay, so a number of months ago, I picked up this Canon point and shoot here. It's the Canon A8000. It's got a measly 10 megapixels and I have been absolutely blown away at the kind of fun I've been having with this camera and how it's actually helped me creatively. So today we're gonna to be going through five reasons why I think a Digicam might be a good choice for photographers, whether you're professional or amateurs, to just give this a try in 2024. So reason number one is accessibility and affordability. In this day and age when photography is so expensive and everybody's chasing after the latest and greatest in technology, Digicams themselves are accessible and affordable. In fact, most of these Digicams can be found either on thrift store shelves or the bottom of junk drawers or on eBay for a bargain. So this one in particular, this Canon A8000, this one I purchased for a total of $80, which I think I paid a, even a bit too much for it, but $80 to get into a, a piece of photography gear um, that allows you to um, go and try and be creative. Even if you use this camera only once, it's an experience that you can actually embrace and enjoy. So reason number one is accessibility and affordability. Okay, reason number two. Reason number two that I would consider looking at a Digicam is the fact that most of these Digicams have CCD sensors versus the current modern CMOS sensors. So CCD sensors are incredibly unique in the fact that they are um, prone to create images that some people feel like are a bit film-like. And so this one in particular is a camera with only a 10 megapixel, one over two thirds sensor. Um, and so you can imagine the images aren't completely clean. And so one of the things I'm gonna show you further in this video are some examples of the images that I've shot on this camera. And one thing that I found really, really unique is the fact that the noise created on this sensor, on this old sensor, or the CCD sensor, um, actually mimics a bit of film grain and film look. And so a lot of people have really recognized that. And I think that's one of the reasons why these have become so popular. So that's reason number two. Reason number three, creativity through limitations. These little cameras themselves obviously have some distinct limitations in comparison to modern digital cameras, lower resolution, smaller sensors uh, requiring more light. They are slower to operate. In fact, film photographers who shoot film and digital hybrid shooters particularly have often touted the fact that the slow process of shooting film um, has helped boost their creativity. And so I think that Digicam specifically can actually produce the same type of feeling. These Screens on the back can be turned completely off and trust me, they are slow and they are clunky, uh, but they are incredibly fun to shoot. Reason number four, Digicams like these are unassuming and they're almost invisible on in the street. If you're a street photographer and would like to capture what you see, capture that decisive moment, this might be the tool for you. When shooting these on the street, you're almost invisible. People look at these, they don't take them as seriously as they do a DSLR or some of the more modern mirrorless cameras. So specifically, these cameras themselves are incredibly, incredibly invisible on the street. In fact, um, when people see you shooting with a point and shoot like this, they really don't take you seriously. So this gives you a bit of an edge. So that's reason number four for me, invisibility. Okay, and the final reason, reason number five, that I would consider shooting a Digicam in 2024, and in fact, it's specifically a Canon Digicam. There's a really unique set of software out there that replaces the firmware on most Canon point-and-shoot Digicams called CHDK. CHDK is Canon Hack development kit. This enables you to shoot raw on this camera amongst many, many other features. And that alone itself to me is a fantastic reason why you would like to choose a Digicam in 2024. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the images that I shot on this camera. Uh, I'm going to show you about eight or 10 of them. 
and I uh, hope you'd enjoyed this video. My name is Wes. If you consider liking and subscribing, I'd very much appreciate that. Thanks again for watching me on Island by Film.